Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Explosive and welcome back to Pop Goes. Or welcome back to Weaselware. This game basically has two titles, so it's kind of just whatever you want it to be. Also, I have a little bit of an update. I am going to be doing just uploads like every other week, supposedly. But this one was a little bit later than I intended. Uh, and I'm going to try and knock two of them out specifically before Saturday. Because on Saturday, I'm getting a new tattoo. It's going to be on this arm here. It's going to be of... So, shout out to Markiplier. If you can see this, I'm getting your symbol. I'm getting Markiplier's symbol. The, the pixelated white M with his war stash on top of it. Pink outline. Markiplier, if you can see this, shout out to you. Like, honestly... Uh, you may not know this, guys, but there I will make an entirely different video about this sooner. So, I'm going to summarize it. Basically, I wasn't doing so well in life, and his videos at that time really helped me cope, and it, it, it saved my life. So, it really, really saved my life. I had, there were other people that helped too, but he was like one of the main big sources of that. So, I wanted to get a tattoo of him, and I'm going to be doing so. I'm going to get it, like, right here on my arm so that other people can see it, and it's going to be very recognizable. So, that's the story of that, and that's why I'm going to upload two in this same week before Saturday so that I can just upload one at a time while I wait for it to heal. I may need to do more. I don't know yet. So, we're going into night six. This is going to be... Very dastardly difficult. This is going to be... Things got really hairy in the last time. I'm going to do this very silently. So I'm going to be quiet. And it's going to be a long run. A really long run of nothing but silence. Here we go. close
gonna get one. That's fine. Shit. He's gonna get one, and that's fine. I'm. Yeah. Okay. It's just one. Just. Shit. Wait. Wait. Okay. six. Camera six again. Camera six again. Shut down. Six. Shut down. Two, three, so one, two, three. Ironic. Funny enough, camera three as well. Okay, so three, three, shut down, blue, that. Come on, come on, heat. Okay, if he gets a third one, it's not the full set. He needs two more. <laughs> Shit! Fuck you, crow bastard. Doesn't have the full set. See, so he needs two arms, two legs, the torso, and the head. He needs a lot of pieces before he can get it to work. Then oh, eight, seven. Whew. It's okay. I'm. And okay. Okay, he's almost there. Then he get back. Uh, where's he going? Side. Okay, so check. Okay, blue. Bam. Shit. Uh, then yeah. did he already get one? Uh, no, he didn't. Not yet. No. Uh, shut down. No, he didn't. Didn't get one yet. I just. So he's going to do two. Right. Two. Shut down. Shut down. Is he going into the same one? Is he going into the same one again? Yes, he is. Okay, shut down. Seven. Check. Nothing. Okay. Okay, going into camera six. Because one, two. Then 
check. Oh, hey. Okay, which one? Cameras? Camera six. Fuck. Shit. Shut down. Check. Okay, Boucher's about to do his thing. Which one? Uh. Okay, so yellow. Bam. Six. Shut down. Whew. Easy. What the fuck? Shit. How many does he have now? Okay, it won't be. F it won't be complete. That I can say with a hundred percent certainty. It's not complete because it just needs three more items. I don't think I saw the head. Yeah, no, the head's not there. So, he just needs three more items. I can just keep this up a little bit longer. I don't need... I don't need... He doesn't need to have all of them. I can let him get some. It just has to be very strategic. He's going into six. Take this break. Take, take, take. Okay. Check on seven. Okay, six. Shut down. Check. Nope. Then... Shut down. Uh, okay. Then eat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move. Shut down. Check. Ah, oh, shit! Go away, you badger reef. Shut. Heat. He's going into six. Six. Shut down. Green. Green. Flam. Yes! Okay! Sorry, I was so silent there. Like I said, okay. Oh man, that was intense. There was a lot going on there. So, part of how you beat it, find the truth. Find the truth. Work in. Walk in entrance. Drive through. Oh, there's the badger. So yay! I did it. Find the truth. What is it? What is? What does that mean? Man, okay, part of that, that was really hectic. Nice job, congrats on beating the game. So token uh, for appreciation, we're letting you check out some extras. Have fun and thanks for playing Unlocked. Custom night, character profiles, development picks, scrap concepts, mini game map. So part of what what goes into that, like the, the biggest reason for that, like you gotta know, kinda know what, what he's doing. Like you may have heard me say stuff like, oh, uh, he doesn't need all the- he doesn't need all the pieces. Oh, he got one, but I'm still in it to win it. Part of what makes this game so tricky to play, it requires a lot of strategy. A lot of it. And part of that comes from, we- Pop goes, he may get some of the pieces he doesn't need. You can let him get some pieces. He needs all of them. There's, let's see, the- the head, the torso- the head, the torso, and then one, two, three, four to eat for each of the limbs. So six pieces total. He needs six of the four total pieces. Uh, he needs uh, six pieces. Once he gets all six pieces, it's like, who can get to six first? You with six out uh, with six a.m. or him with six pieces left? You do want to shut him down because if you just let him get pieces willy-nilly, he's going to get all six of them before you get to 6 a.m. That's going to happen. If you happen to miss one every every once in a while, that's fine. You just need to not get to six pieces, which is the head, the torso, the head, the torso, uh, both arms, and then uh, both uh, legs as well. That's what makes him up. So there's a custom night with this. So what is this? What is this? What does this go to? Uh, I have. I have a theory. Does it go up to twenty? Does it go up? Of course it does. It goes to twenty. Impossible, huh? Difficult, moderate, average, super easy. <sighs> I might.
might have to come back to this one because, oh boy, this is a uh, okay, character pro character profiles. Pop goes the weasel. Species least weasel. Huh. Whoa, black rabbit. Power uh power color. Power color green. Power color red stone. Okay, so. Pop Goes the Weasel is the singer and leader of the Pop Goes Pizzeria band. His design is inspired by the least weasel. His hat was pr his hat was purchased from an auction and originally belonged to Freddy Fazbear. Okay, uh, Blake the Badger is the mechan is the mechanic and helper of the Pop. Really, he's the mechanic. That's interesting. His design is inspired by the European Badger. European Badger. Uh, okay, Sarah, Sarah the Squirrel is the bassist of the Pop Goes Pizza. Her design is, okay, she isn't directly connected to Weaselware, but will help Pop Goes out on tasks. He is set. Okay, her programming has forced her to become an almost exact copy of her sister. Uh, is the guitarist. Okay, Stone Crow is a sign holder who stays outside. Okay. Stone Crow isn't, connect isn't connected to anything at all. If you see him moving, you're hallucinating. Okay. Uh, body parts in the style of... Body parts in the style of Toy Bonnie! It says so right there! Black Rabbit parts are untreated and unpainted, causing them to crumble to powder overnight. Pop goes will try to build Black Rabbit no matter what. Find out why. And then, and then I can't unlock any of these. Gemstone. So, okay. So, okay. Uh, develop Development Pop goes. These look really cool. These look... God, that looks even creepier. Gemstone, which I'm pretty sure is the good guy. Okay, so you are here. Uh, hmm. Weird. Here's the kitchen, the birthday room, the miscellaneous props. Miscellaneous props, okay. Huh, these are really cool. Morse the Mole was one of the four pizzeria animatronics from the original Pop Goes concept. He was going to bury, he was going to bur bury under the restaurant's floorboards and probably rip up wires or something. And probably rip up wires or something. He was removed due to conflict with the lore and also because he looked incredibly stupid. However, some developers tried to keep his legacy alive by making joke artwork and models. Morse was replaced by both Stone and Blake. Blake, who actually have eye colors which, when mixed together, form the color of Morse's. Kane also, Kane also hates the mention of him. Okay, Encore. In the summer 2015, concepts for a sequel of Pop Goes were made called Pop Goes Encore. The lore and game mechanics were discussed based on the state of the lore the first game of the discussion. There was also, uh, Pop Goes Encore will never happen. Aw, oh, that sucks. I... That sucks. Plastic grave. What the? Okay, but uh, I can't read any of this. Almost everything. Me. However, it was decided a few weeks before Christmas that the story was getting too big to be to to just be in a game. Inspired by the Silver Eyes, a few members of Pop Goes team started working on a new project called The Plastic Grave, a graphic novel designed to explain the concepts that were otherwise confusing in the Pop Goes story. Unfortunately, the amount of artwork needed and the thought of practically spoiling the story's secrets in such a blunt manner turned us off of the idea and it was ultimately cancelled. We tried to execute it as a novel, but that also didn't work out. Instead, we tried our hardest to put everything necessary for clear understanding and space for theorizing in the game itself. Okay, so this raises some ideas of mine. Remember when we saw Balloon Boy, the plastic grave? You know how in, in Five Nights in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, like Toy Chica, Toy like these characters here, how they all looked kinda plasticky? 
This is called the plastic grave. I'm wondering if this has something to do with the making of the Phantom animatronics. Because, I mean, Phantom Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy was hooked up to something. Uh, Bonnie. Bonnie was hooked up to one of them as well. Now, that could have made, say, I don't know, maybe Springtrap. I don't know. Uh, Phantom Ch uh, Chica was hooked up to one of them. There was a Phantom Chica as well. Phantom uh, Mango was hooked up. As we saw, Mango was also a Phantom. And Freddy too. So, I'm wondering if... Okay, so here's my thought then. I'm wondering if they wanted to make the Phantoms uh, harvest their souls to make them into Phantoms. However, if someone were to find out, obviously that would be a bad thing. If they found their bodies, they'd dig deeper. So, the plastic grave, they would, they would have needed to bury these animatronics so that the truth would never come out. That's why, and that's why, I, that's why I believe Springtrap is trying to kill you. Because if you're there, that means... You're gonna find out the secret. That's why he wants to kill you. That's why you gotta try and hide away. Lure him away from his office. That's why it's called the plastic grave. That would explain why it's called the plastic grave. Is uh, Hence, they're burying these animatronics so that the truth never gets out. Okay, Easter eggs. Uh, blah, 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 game. Pop goes his games full of Easter eggs. Uh, theories... I'm going to have to read all this later off cam, and then I will come back and literally make another thing. I can't, unlike, unlike other YouTubers, I literally can see my own webcam. Like, I can see it, like, right here. So, it blocks everything. So, I'm going to have to go back and, and uh, fix that later. So, uh, the story was changed over time for the game, and we made it clear that the Easter eggs should always help with solving it. Therefore, some Easter eggs have been scrapped because they no longer help with the lore, or in some cases, actually confuse it further. Here are... Those Easter eggs. There are some more, but we lost them. So, Bon Bon in the vents. Five not the candy and and the monkey and blank. What the fuck? <sighs> okay. Those nights at Fred Bear. Okay. So, I have some other. Hmm, okay. This is interesting. I'm going to have to look up, look into this further. I'm going to have three props. Oh, man, this is weird. You notice that the Pop Goes mini games have very similar styles to the mini games that you see once you beat a night on the third night of... Uh, at the third Five Nights at Freddy's game. Despite what some people might be saying, this is actually a design choice and not something we relied on because we're on original. If you pay attention to the story, you'll know why the minigames rights look so similar. On top of this, we actually made other props for the game that were clearly influenced from props found in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. They were scrapped because it seemed too cheap and boring. No, that makes sense, though. That makes sense because, like, what if these characters, like, okay, this, okay, this now makes sense. This makes sense now. This security guard, gemstone that says, find the truth. Here's my, the okay, here's my theory on why Pop Goes is trying to make the animatronic rabbit. Obviously, the security guard has access to those mini games. I believe. That would explain why you're able to play them. So what if the security guard is having access to these clips, to these these mini games, and is, is figuring out the truth like I have been, and that's why they're trying to kill him. That would explain why Pop Goes is trying to make the the shadow bunny, the, the shadow rabbit that is trying to kill the security guard. Because it's a sense of he knows too much. He knows too much, so he needs to die so that the truth doesn't get exposed. Well, the truth does get exposed, and which leads to the events of Five Nights at Phrase 3. Let's just face it. They were... they were, In Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the, the guy that calls you up on the first night, he says that they 
are finding different stuff for their haunted house. So, people have a tendency to come up with stories uh, to convince other stories. My, my stepfather. Now, this is completely unrelated to FNAF lore, FNAF lore, but it's kind of an example of what he could be doing with the whole haunted house ordeal and how you're starring as the security guard. So, my stepfather, he, had, he was working at, I think, 7-Eleven. And he has a policy where he can't let the employees use the bathrooms in there to their four employees only. Well, there was always this customer that, that said uh, that he wanted to use it. Said he would use the bathroom just there or something like that. So eventually he just said, it's broken, I'm sorry, we can't, uh, it's under maintenance right now. It's broken. And the customer accepted that. He was like, okay, that makes sense. What if, what if the phone guy from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the one that calls you up on the first night, is doing that same thing? Like, what if? Because if he is just telling people that it's his haunted house, and they're just accepting that, that would ex- Holy shit, okay. I have got to play some of these other games. I got to find out more about this. I'm going to look into shit. I am going to try and make contact with people. This is fucking interesting. I will look up what happened. I will look it up if I have to. I will try and be 2020 mode. I'll have it on cam too. Holy shit. This is interesting. I want to find out more about this. Okay, paper menu. Before we settled on a Weaselware themed menu for the game, we had an idea that basically went, what if the menu was an actual menu? We ended up, uh... We ended up designing, modeling, and animating a full paper-styled restaurant menu. Unfortunately, the credits had to be constantly updated, and having to make a model every time a person joined was super inefficient. Looks cool, though. Yeah. It does kind of look cool. Okay. Old mini games. Build, build the leader. Build the recruit. Build the offense. Build the defense. Wait. Build the leader. Build the leader, recruit, defense, offense, the spy. This proves my point. This proves my point. So, the sp this spy here, as you can tell from his little sign there, that's obviously Stone the Crow. These are obviously the different, uh, uh, we, uh, chipmunks. That's the badger, and, and that's Pop Goes. This proves my point! This proves my point. That's the leader that's leading all of these people to try and kill the security guard. And this spy is letting him know. That's why he's, th that they're trying to kill him. The spy, a spy's job is to gather info. So this stone the crow, if he's moving, you're hallucinating. I'm starting not to believe that because this stone the crow guy, if he found, if he found out, his whole, the, he's the spy. So his job is to gather info. With that in mind, he would have found out that the security guard is finding out more of this story, like I am, and that's why they're trying to kill him. Holy shit, okay. Okay, uh, make a game too easy, it also ended up conflicting with the lore. So, whether your panic is high or low, through, it is through audio cues, the frequency of Stone the Crow's appearance, and of course the panic bar, bottom left of the screen. However, there was also a planned feature of an eye symbol to pair with the bar. This eye would show whether the panic of the player was going up or down. It also blinked to refresh the screen and update the animatronics placements in the pizzeria. Unfortunately, it was agreed that the eye on top of the bar made the game too easy. It also ended up conflicting with the lore. What is... What is this? What is this? Uh, okay. Not sure what that it, that whole thing is. Stone route. S this is 
is weird. Okay. This is weird. Okay. So, what's the... What is the highest unlock for the character profiles? So, difficult mode, moderate, average, super easy, impossible. Okay, so there is an, an impossible reward unlock for specifically Stone the Crow. I'm going to look more into this later and find this shit out. Um, but for now, I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please make sure to give a big fat thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. This is getting interesting. This is getting really interesting, and I might come back to this. Uh, come back to this. Whew. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, and I like it. I like where this is going. Um... I like where this is going, so if you like this, give a big fat thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. I will try and do an impossible mode, but holy fuck, I'm going to need to look up some strategies for that. I'm going to look up strategies. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!